Greetings, greetings, shining entrepreneurs. Welcome, welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 76. We are moving, moving forward. It's a good day. It's a good time. November, November 4th. So you guys know that I try to do the majority of my meditation, getting myself into position to move forward. Um, the first week of the month. That's the new moon phase, and that is very vital and important to new ideas, setting new goals, putting things into action, and just being responsible. So welcome. We have 32 people in the chat today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So what do I want to talk about today? I want to say to you, shining entrepreneurs, the graduation phase of life happens not once every four years, you know, in kindergarten, immediately we graduate. From knowing nothing to growing in goal setting for one year, right? But then we don't get another graduation and we stop getting gold stars in kindergarten, right? We don't get another graduation until sixth grade. And then we have this great ceremony because now we have grown to an occasion, and then we don't get another graduation until the eighth grade because now we're in junior high and that is helping us to see that we have to manifest through these immaturity stages. How mature are you going to become around your peers who are immature? You got testosterone growing. You got, um, you know, puberty hitting. And it's just a crazy, crazy time. But when you get through it, you deserve a graduation, okay? And then we don't graduate again until four years later, which is being a senior in high school. And then some of us, we go to the next level, which could be an associate's program. And then you get a graduation or a bachelor's program. You get a graduation or a master's level. You get a graduation or a doctorate. And then you get a graduation. Well, the doctorate do does not provide you with a graduation without exerting your energy through dissertation and the knowingness of what it is that you desire to do with your life. So the point I'm making about this topic today is what happens when we graduate after a dissertation or the last area of education that you remember graduating from? When have you graduated since then? Graduation should be a time when you have mastered anything worth value, a job, career, basic living, cutting your bills in half to be able to sustain and maneuver through life just so you can begin to save, can begin to find something out about yourself. Coming out of incarceration and doing the next right thing, um, realizing when it's time to turn around and try something new, something different. Every one of those positions are times of graduation. We should be successfully happy for ourselves because we've excelled, we've grown. And then after making a mistake, realizing it, sometimes we can go back before the mistake is made and recognize it and try to fix it. Or sometimes we go through the mistake to grow from it, to come back and say, damn, I should have done this earlier. But it's okay. We can't beat ourselves up over it. We got to move forward. So today is graduation day for you. 
I would love for you to put in the chat or email me something that you've graduated from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whether it's a narcissistic relationship that you just found yourself in and you realized it wasn't good and healthy for you, so you decided to back away and walk away. You know, I had a very trying time because my goal is to help people willing and inspired to help themselves. Well, there was a situation where I had to put myself in a position of legal standing. And in doing this, it was going to affect the person involved. And I had to think about it very, very cautiously. And I said, okay, I have to weigh my pros and cons just, just to decide if I would do something legally to protect me. And what I realized in the last moments, and I teetered and I tottered with it, but in the very last minutes of what I needed to do to make this legal decision, I decided to support and protect me. And in doing the supporting and protecting me mentally, what that did was tell me I graduated from something that could have held me in fear, but I put it out there and I demand, I demand that it be recognized. And that's what we have to do sometimes. We have to, you know, go within and we have to say, okay, well, does it benefit me the most or someone who doesn't even respect me? Doesn't even respect me. So, yeah, that that is powerful. And I think that's where we can truly and genuinely say that we have graduated. I've graduated. Okay, Kennedy. What? <laughs> You've graduated from quitting your job and starting your business for yourself. That is the, now that is the ultimate graduation. You know why? Because you're putting yourself first. You are stepping out on the chalk line and you're walking it with precision. You're doing a damn thing. You're wearing them shoes you in. Because what is taking place, Kennedy, is you recognize the value and working for yourself and not for someone who devalues you, you know, but sometimes we have to be in that state in order to just pay our bills. You know, I was speaking to a individual who is going through one of the most harshest areas of life that is challenging for this individual. And it's all about life experience, growing into things, you know, as we hit a certain plateau, reality starts to hit. And in that reality, there's so much there that we don't even know how we're going to get through it. You know, there may be a time someone is dealing with the illness of a parent or someone, uh, a, a, a set of parents, you know, they were blessed to have a mother and a father and they have to deal with the consequences of old age coming through. How are you going to maneuver? How are you going to manifest the separation of children and trying to deal with the court system when you are primarily trying to just get your family and bring it together, but with other issues that have come up that has arisen because we were somehow or another unaware what was taking place now we got to go through child support. We got to do this. And then what about the people who have committed all of their young adult life to a relationship only to find out that this person is cheating, this person is lying, this person is manipulating, and they are so stuck and committed into the relationship they're not ready to leave. These are so serious life experience situations. And around, I'd say, 29 to 36, we go through it.
Lemire, exactly. That area of, of pain is going to endure and make us stronger, even though we don't feel like it's going to do that. Because for me, <laughs> I felt my weakest at the time I was my most strongest because I did not have anybody else to lean on. I didn't have my mom to lean on to give me the answers. I didn't have my grandmother to lean on to give me the answers. Even in business, I have a board of directors and I'm so used to reaching out, reaching out, tell me this, what should I do here? What should I do there? And my partner is away out of country and it's phenomenally strange for me to not be able to call because sometimes, uh, you know, reception is crazy and it's, it's, uh, I'm unable to get to the person only to find out that I got to make a decision now. So I make the ultimate decision and I don't know if it's the right decision or not. I'm just making the best decision for the circumstance at the moment. And then there's nothing I can do about it after it's done because it's done. So if I decide to, you know, patent or promote this or copyright this and it's something that maybe we shouldn't have spent the money on or whatever, I am in control of the fact that I did that. <laughs> and I have to answer only to me because obviously those people in position that are partnered with me, that I, I'm, I business consult with, they are in 100% trust and faith in my decisions. And I am learning how to step out and make the decisions without having to ask for permission or ask, not really for permission, but ask for should, should, would you like to do this or would you like to do that? They trust me with their corporation. And that is a powerful graduatory experience. And it feels so wonderful. And that's why having a clean slate every day helps make rational decisions that otherwise could overtake the empowerment of who we really are on a regular basis. Our emotion can tap in and we can get this fear. And then the next thing you know, we're trying to jump and be proactive in a negative way, which will then put barriers in our way and prevent us from being successful because we can always judge the situation. We don't want to judge the situation on an emotional standpoint. You know, so right Yes, Carla, your, your uh, response was perfect. It, it was perfect. Your experience in, in, in that scenario right there that you share with us right now is what I'm talking about. And that was an extreme situation there. I mean, you went through uh, the chaos of not knowing if this was the right thing to do, even as a parent. OK, and we're not and, and these are things that are going to be critical when we're making that final decision. Do we partner with this person? Uh, do we get this background check, even though this person looks to be safe? Do we empower ourselves with more rules and regulations so people will abide by them? Or do we give them a little lax because everyone is mature and adult and will handle the situations as they come? These are scenarios, entrepreneurs, my shining entrepreneurs, you're going to have to face. These are the chronicles involved in stepping out on your own faith. Mm-hmm. Do you get an attorney to tell you the legal ramifications of what it is you're doing in your business, or do you just focus on your state law? Do you focus on morality as the guiding factor of what to do next? Because yes, it's easy to handle the situation based on how you always do it. 
But if you take the time to just analyze and then dissect and then organize your thoughts and then take those thoughts and rationalize why you're doing what you're doing, it will become a better outcome. And Bob, I know you understand because you've been working with me for now, I think four years and the power of being the entrepreneur in your own life and building it through a management, a corporate management position, you're able to really and truly say that this is something profound that you're doing and then you're helping people along the way. It's such a rewarding position that you're in. So stay committed, stay focused. There may be times, I know, Bob, you probably feel this too. And and I've seen you, I've seen you in action where you have had to keep calm under stressful circumstances and situations while your whole team was just like doing what they do. But you still came in with a strong piece of advice and a strong balance of everything and said, hmm, this is nice. And it makes others feel good to be in your presence with your business. And you're, you're teaching people how to be patient. You're teaching customers how to be respected. But yet you're also giving your employees that opportunity to be an employee. Just, oh, you know, especially to a customer who is consistent. You know, people tend to look at them as family. <laughs> Sometimes they either look at them as family or they look at them as, you know, you know, oh, someone else has them because they're they're always working with this particular individual. And that client should not get upset about that. She or he should feel empowered to be part of a family uh, business, you know, but these are things where if someone was late for work or had to go through something, it would be a stressful situation. So it's all in what it is we're doing. So my point today is talking about the life experience situations that's going to make us greater later, but we got to go through the tunnel before we can see the light at the end of it. You know, I was talking to a couple and uh, they have been in a relationship for, I think, seven years, 10 years. And you know that thing called the seven-year itch, right? Well, as I'm sharing, you know, just observing, not even sharing, because relationship uh, area is not my specialty forte. Um, I've been independent forever, not because I don't have the opportunity but because I choose to be engaged and primarily functioning through my business, that is my relationship. I put material items that support me in the position of a, like human energy. You know, if you support me, I don't care if you're in my house, you support me, you have a name, you have a, I just recently gave my house a gender and I'm so grateful to my house every time I walk into it for giving me the safety, giving me the opportunity to free my mind and be, you know, able to just be me in my own internal safety and my vehicle as well. I thank my vehicle. I gave it a gender. I gave it a name so it can give energy to me and I can give energy to it so it can provide me the things I need on a regular daily basis. And that is freedom. Some people may say that's crazy. Well, if that's crazy, it's okay. Let's be the craziest success we can be if it's positive and the energy is vibing for us and it's working. You see, you know, I I, I had a issue where Someone were, was judging, someone chose to judge someone that was, you know, part of my camp. And they do things different, okay? And I've learned that everyone has a traumatic uh, way of showing how damaged they are. If they bite their nails, 
and we tell them, you know, nail biting is not a good thing because of the germs and the micro bacteria that could be under the nails. But if that's how they do what they do, who are we to judge them? The only thing we could do is tell them that that is the issue at hand and the health factor from it. If they choose to continue to do what they do, let them. Stay forward, focused on that, because all of this can be distraction. And in life, we have enough distractions, right? So so now we say to ourselves, let me see how much time we have. Okay, I'm going to finalize this because this is kind of not a rant, but just an experience, a life experience situation <laughs> that we all go through. We all face it. So before we end, I need you to write in your journals to yourself a life experience that you have experienced lately and that you've graduated from and the feeling you felt when you graduated, even though no one was there, there wasn't a big audience to clap and say yay when you walk past and your name is called. But when you had to do it in the middle of the night, when you had to think about, you know, the graduation success that you endured over the course of the day, and in the middle of the night, you gave yourself your accolade by thinking to yourself, wow, I really did graduate from that. Give yourself the gold star. Go to the store, Dollar Tree or some dollar store, wherever you are, and you get you some stars. And you start labeling your journal. This is where I succeeded. I cleaned my house today. I cleaned my kitchen or I cleaned my bedroom today or I cleaned my bathroom or I made my bed this morning. You know, sometimes we can go through life situations where just making a bed is difficult. But when we do it, we need to give ourselves accolade and we need to tell ourselves I've graduated today. And then walk with the sense of graduation, just like a million people were in the auditorium and your name was called and everyone started clapping for you. You want to have that same enthusiasm when you graduate from some life experience situation that was difficult to get through. And when you do that, entrepreneurs, You're going to find it easier and easier to be self-confident. And that's where I am today. Self-confidence and how to get there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being consistent. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm going to shoot this out to my YouTube channel. Um, I will put it for today's date. That's why I put today's date on this podcast only because I'm going to record it for today. Um, And I want it to be fresh to my YouTube listeners. And for those on YouTube who are channeling into Chronicles of a Nonprofit, thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Shine loves you. And continue to empower yourself. Continue to make these areas of life significant for you so that you can grow. And never, ever be in competition with anyone except for you. And even then, don't compete. Just compare and observe and try to be consistent, be on time, be ready for reality, and also be comfortable in the shoes you're wearing because you're rocking them. You're doing the damn thing. So keep it moving and we will see you next time. Peace.